A few days ago, Lyrix came back to YouTube again for the like eighth time. Now, of course, I'm sure you all know that Lyrix returned around four months ago, and then I made an exposed video on him for being gay, trans, and emo, and this, of course, caused him to quit YouTube. I'm the reason why he quit YouTube. He got so butthurt over being called gay, trans, and emo that he, he just had to quit. Like, what do you do after Farmer Fletcher calls you gay on the internet? You quit YouTube. That's the only valid option. So completely understandable. I totally get why he quit YouTube after that. But yeah, he came back again recently, and he was like, it seemed like he was being more serious about coming back to YouTube. He made a video on Jaden, of course, as we all have, probably. I mean, hey, I can't blame him. My most popular video on my channel is about Jaden. Or, sorry, Jalen. But yeah, he came back with a Jalen video, and then that same night that he came back, he did a live stream. And I was thinking that we were so back, Lyrix bros. Now, Lyrix very quickly got into some little drama. On his second stream back, he made a joke saying that he was gonna dox Smaggledaggle's face, and a bunch of people in the commentary community for some reason took this seriously. I mean, there's so many people that are, like, moral effing over this. It's just really fucking stupid, because, I mean, to me, at least, it was a very obvious joke. But anyways, like, half the commentary community started shitting on Lyrix, even Nicholas Diorio did. Nicholas Diorio, if you're watching this, unblock me now. I know where you live. Um, Augie, Augie doxed you on Twitter, okay? I have your address. I have it pulled up right here. I'm literally gonna come over there. YouTube, this is a joke. Please do not take down my video. Please, I'm begging you, Neil. Now, Lyrix, of course, made a new Twitter account, and he started shitting on Tipster again, which was pretty funny. Tipster blocked him almost immediately. And, uh, yeah, I woke up the next morning to see that Lyrix had deleted his Twitter account and privated all his videos again, of course. Now, if you want to watch some Lyrix videos, you can, of course, just uh, go over to my second channel. I have some Lyrix videos archived, and there's more to come. But, I mean, the fact that Lyrix just deleted everything after he got into this little gay drama just makes him look like a loser. He also blocked, like, everyone in the commentary community on his secondary Twitter account, or his primary Twitter account, I don't, I don't really know. So yeah, it just makes him look even worse. Now, his official reasoning for quitting YouTube again was, Oh, dude, I don't make any money from it. I can't monetize this. Wah, wah. Dude, you're literally just abandoning a 50,000 subscriber channel just because you're not getting as much money as you want, and you're just making yourself look like a loser. Like, bro, wh why, why do you have to private all of your videos just because you're not getting monetized. You're getting limited ads. Wah. Dude, I've been making videos for like, what, nine months now? I mean, I'm not even monetized. I just do this shit because it's fun. And because, you know, there's a potential to uh, make money from this and, um... I want money. Well, no, it would be a nice little bonus, but I mean, why even come back to the commentary community if you're just like doing it for money? That just seems so fucking stupid. But yeah, I mean, of course, there were some people that were uh, making fun of Lyrix because he quit the commentary community already. And I also saw a tweet by this Alex person on Twitter. I'll throw it up on screen right now, but it, it describes L Lyrix pretty well. Like, he's a funny guy, but he just looks like a loser when he does this stuff. And his videos are quite entertaining. I just do not understand why he keeps quitting YouTube. It just just makes him look really fucking stupid. But yeah, um, Lyrix, you're gay, you're trans, you're emo. I'm gonna miss the wrist checks that you used to do on stream. Uh, that's really all I have for this video. I might make a video on the Jalen drama. I don't know, dude. It's just, it's, it's the same stuff over and over again. Jalen just never learns, copes about it, pretends like the entire commentary community is just always after them as if they're not making the most retarded fucking mistakes possible, acting like a literal child constantly. So yeah, I mean, I probably won't make a video on that, but... Who knows, I need video ideas. Uh, yeah, the thing I said earlier this month about daily uploads, that is definitely not true at all. I was traveling, so uh, I couldn't really upload any videos, but I'm back home now, and uh, March is gonna be the month of Farmer Fletcher, okay? Fucking daily videos. But yeah, okay, I'm rambling. Follow my Twitter, goodbye.